Hi, welcome back to the workshop. This time I made some modular coat hooks and storage for my utility room. Taking an 18mm sheet of birch ply, I used my circular saw to break it down into more manageable boards. As these are still too big for my chop saw, I cut them to length by hand. I used my bandsaw to cut to a fraction over finished width. A few passes of the block plane will remove any saw marks. Can then final sizing can then be done on the chop saw. Next, I take one of the long boards and plane off more of the saw marks. The whole unit is going to be installed with a French cleat. A table saw would make light work of this, but as my workshop doesn't have one, I tilt my bandsaw table to 30 degrees to make the cut. Half the cleats will be mounted on the wall and the other half will be incorporated into the back panel. To assemble the back panel I'm going to use biscuits. Once glued in place these will produce a very strong joint. I use a wedge to clamp everything together. Once the back panel is dried, I route in a channel to accept the centre shelf. And two perpendicular channels for dividers and decorative supports. Clamping a scrap of wood to a panel at finished width allows me to draw an arc.
The side panels have a channel for the centre shelf, back plate and top shelf routed in. The shelf dividers need a notch cutting to allow for the French cleat. And now for glue up. The side panels and centre shelf followed by biscuits for the top shelf. The shelf dividers go in, the top shelf, and finally the end panel. I glue in some 6mm ply to finish the storage. Everything is going to be painted, so I add some iron-on veneer to hide the edge of the ply. Two rails with 30 degree angles are attached to accept the hooks. The bottom is glued and screwed. The top is glued and nailed. Once everything is smooth, I apply two undercoats and two top coats. I need 15 blocks with 30 degree angles top and bottom to match the rails I added earlier. A few
few coats of paint, a quick sand, and the corners are knocked off with a block plane. Now for the earlier mentioned French cleats. And with a bit of help from the better half, the unit is lifted into place. I can now position the hooks as I please or add more. I can add anything else to the bottom rail as it acts as another French cleat. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.